Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Danielle aka Stitcherista here on YouTube and today I am going to be demonstrating something that is very easy but is for me a game changer when doing a long row of stitches in the same color. Like when I started my Fruit of Plenty sampler and I started at the top so I had that long line of black stitches. So what I do is, first of all, count the line of stitches. And I think when I counted that one, it was like 61. I'm going to say we're going to count the line and it's going to be 33 stitches because I want to show you um, what to do. So what I do to make that counting easier, instead of saying... Or instead of trying to just consistently do a couple stitches and count... This is what I picked up in one of the Facebook groups that I belong to. Okay, so what I do, I'm just going to start here and we're going to do 31 stitches. Now, I'm this is 14 count fabric and I'm only doing one strand just to uh, show you so you can really see. So what I do is I'll do 10 stitches. It's easier to find the hole sometimes than others. And trust me, looking at 14 count, this looks giant compared to what I've been stitching on 18 count. But this was a technique that I was like, OMG, a definite game changer as far as I'm concerned. So the trick is, now this is also how I stitch. I will do the first leg of the stitch and then go back. If you are working with over dyed threads where you're supposed to complete each stitch individually, this technique is not going to work. This is for when you're just using plain DMC or plain Salky or whatever brand thread anchor there's Cosmo Floss now. So what I do is I'll do 10 stitches. And I apologize if the camera is shaking because I am using my new little clip-on mount because I can get it right up above my work. But every time I put the needle in the fabric, it wants to move. So that's seven, eight... And then nine. And on the tenth one, I complete the X. And I think I just got a knot in the back of the work. Because I tried to pick also longer thread than normal just so, well, I'm just going to have to go with that. Okay, so on the tenth one, I complete the X. So now I know there are, that's 10, right? So now when I start my next 10, this is again one. Then I do 10 more. This is getting ready to come out of the eye of the needle. I'm going to pause just so your guys aren't sitting here watching me do the, the X's. I'll wait until I get to like the ninth one and I'll be back. Okay, I'm on the ninth one in this part. So nine. And then ten. And again, I will complete the X. Now remember, we're looking at this line is supposed to be 31 stitches, right? So without causing myself too much brain anxiety and everything, I already know I now have 20 X's without having to go back and say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You know you got 20. Say you have to step away from your project when you're counting. Now, I will give you a little tip too. When I count... Like when I counted that line on my Fruit of Plenty sampler, 
I also wrote it like above the line with highlighter just so I could remember the number. Like let's say I got interrupted by a phone call or something like that. So now I need, remember I need to do 31. So I need to do 10 more and I'm going to pause and I'll get back with you when I get to like the ninth one. Okay, so now I am at the ninth one. So nine. And then 10. And I'm going to complete the X on the 10th one. And then you could now count and say, okay, very easily. God, this phone mount. <laughs> Very easily count that and say, okay, I did 30 and I only need to do 31. So I would just do one more. And then I would, then my line is done and I would just go back and complete all of those X's. You know, I would just start going back like this and, you know, completing them all. But isn't that a neat way to do a really long line? Because, I mean, especially when people who stitch samplers and they have a border, sometimes you have a hundred stitches in that one line. And you could very easily just do every 10. And it really, really makes it easier to keep track and not, like, freak out or make yourself very much um, stressed and anxiety-ridden by trying to make sure you're counting correctly. So I hope this helped you and gave you a little technique that you can now use when you stitch. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.